Today's reading is from the Gospel according to Mark. The contents of the reading can be summarized thusly. A man with leprosy approaches Jesus, saying, If you choose, you can make me clean. Jesus then heals the man, saying, I do choose, be made clean, and tells him not to speak a word of the miracle to anyone. Yet, the man then goes on to speak openly about what Jesus had done for him, making Christ so popular that he could no longer go into town. The reading ends with Jesus receiving people from every quarter of the country where he now resides. I believe today's gospel reading is about the power of choice. The reading makes it seem as though it is Jesus' decision to heal, but in my opinion, the choice actually belonged to the leper. By seeking Jesus out, by surrendering himself to his sacred mysteries, by welcoming him into his heart, the leper chose to believe, making Christ's decision to heal not really a choice, but a guarantee. For me, this reading brings to mind Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, in which Jesus says, Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone should hear my voice and enter, I will eat with that person and they with me. In my mind, there's no doubt the leper heard Jesus' voice and, with a humble and contrite heart, opened the door to him, allowing him to share in God's blessings. Another aspect of choice which comes up in the reading is in Jesus' decision to not tell anyone about the miracle. At first glance, such a decision might seem surprising, even ill-advised. Wouldn't Jesus, as well as the budding Catholic faith in general, gain significantly more followers if they had undeniable proof of his majesty? I would say yes and no, for such people would certainly be more motivated by facts than by faith. In other words, their choice to believe would be taken away from them and in their place have an unshakable certainty. Once again, I'm reminded of another Bible reading. John chapter 20, verse 30, in which Jesus tells his doubting apostle Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Based on both readings, I'm inclined to believe that Jesus doesn't want us to believe with our eyes, but rather he wants us to look deep within our hearts and come to our own conclusions based on the free will that he has given us. May such reflection help bring us closer to him.